Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor, and today we're going to dig into a new compressor by Serpent Arms, and this is their GXCS4 compressor, and you will absolutely want to stick around because just as the title says, I'll also share with how you guys back home can get one of these compressors for under $500, at least as of the making of this video. And I'm going to guess that many of you are probably asking, well, who in the world is Serpent Arms? And the brief answer is that they're an air gun manufacturer from the state of Wisconsin and a company that has developed their own shot shells. So these shot shells or shot cartridges are for air guns. They can be used with a lot of variety of air guns, including the Seneca Wing Shot, the Umarex Hammer, the Air Force Texan, and well, the AEA Zeus, among others. And not to be left out, well, Serpent Arms is also manufacturing their own 28 gauge air shotgun. And if you want to find out more about it, well, you're just going to have to watch the video linked in the description down below, and it's going to be coming out next week. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you in part by Air Guns of Arizona. High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Air Force Air Guns, and Rapid Air Works. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Over the years, I have tried and reviewed over a half a dozen compressors, and when it comes to reliability and user experience, well, the Serpent Arms GXCS4 compressor stands out as a great option. Now, don't get me wrong, this compressor isn't going to beat out like a day state compressor or an alkin compressor in terms of speed reliability retaining value and durability but the serpent arms gxcs4 compressor that you see right here well it's just about perfect and for those of you looking to add a source of air that you can have in your shop or on the go in the back of your pickup truck now I do have to add one thing here. Recently I did review a Viver compressor. Now I no longer am recommending that. Look at the comments underneath the video because although the compressors that I had worked just fine, many of my viewers are having difficulty with it and I no longer would recommend that Viver compressor. So let's go ahead and take a look at this rebranded GXCS4 that Serpent Arms has brought to the market. Now the specs in this compressor state that it weighs 28 pounds and you're going to need a 30 amp circuit. It also runs on both 12 volts of electricity, but 120 volts or 240 volts can also be an option with the power converter. So that's what you have here. So if you're gonna run it off your home, you're gonna run it off of this converter. Now this is an oilless compressor, water cooled, and also produces 11 liters per minute of air output. So for a lot of you air gunners, you're probably new to the PCP game. So when you get a compressor like this, a brand new compressor like this one from Serpent Arms, you're gonna to wanna to do a couple of things. And the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do since this is a water-cooled compressor is you wanna check the water reservoir, which is right up here. You're gonna open it up and make sure it is full of water. Now you're not gonna use tap water if it's empty, you're gonna use distilled water. The reason being is because tap water or well water, as you might be well aware, has a lot of sediment and minerals in it, and those will build up in the system and gonna destroy the pump, clog the hoses over time, and you don't wanna to have to deal with that. Now, if you're gonna be using this in a cold environment, well, you can also add a little antifreeze. Now, to do so, you're gonna to need to break out your science kit. You're gonna mix some distilled water with the antifreeze until you get a level of pH around seven. Now this solution can then be added to the water reservoir. But how do you find a pH of seven? Well, this is actually pretty easy. You might remember this from your science classes back in high school. You can get those pH testing strips fairly easily at the aquarium section at your pet store, your local pool supply, or even at Amazon. And I'll leave a link down below if you want to test for that pH level. Whichever solution you do use, you will want to fill the reservoir above the return inlet and let this system run to make sure you get all the air out and then top off the coolant reservoir as necessary. So you've filled up the reservoir, you've run it a little bit, but now you wanna make sure that the system is free of leaks. Now to do that, 
you're going to use the included hose, which I have on here, and there's a deadhead. The deadhead is essentially a plug that goes at the end of the fill hose. You're going to go ahead and set the automatic shutoff to 4,500 PSI, start the compressor, and let it fill until the cutoff kicks in. Then you're going to want to allow the compressor to sit for 5-10 minutes and see if the pressure gauge drops. Now remember, it might drop a little bit because of heat, but if it's a significant drop, that means you have an air leak somewhere. You're going to need to identify and tighten the appropriate fittings to make sure you close off the leak. Now if there's no leaks present, well, then you're ready to move on to the final test. And this final test is what we call the deadhead test. This is going to leave you some baseline data on the fill speed and the ability to check on the health of your compressor. So you're going to get to act like the doctor a little bit. You're going to want to go ahead again, put the deadhead on the end of the hose, mark the cutoff at 4,500 PSI, fill up the compressor and time it. When your compressor stops, you're going to record the time on the edge of your compressor and this is your baseline data. When you notice a significant deviation or change from these fill times, well then you know the compressor is in need of a little maintenance. Well now that you are ready to go with the new compressor, let's go ahead and take a look at how the Serpent Arms GXCS4 tackles large tanks and this compressor has a continuous working time of up to 5 hours. Now to test this out, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my regular tank and we're going to go ahead and fill this up to 4,500 PSI. I usually top off the tank when it gets down to 2,500 PSI, so that's where we're going to start today. And a matter of fact, if you have a brand new tank, I would suggest just go ahead and getting it filled somewhere else for the very first time as I wouldn't want to run this compressor and overheat it or anything like that. So go ahead and be easy on the compressor, get your tank filled outside first and then bring it home and top it off all the time. To do so, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tank, set it on a nice steady surface, and then I am going to connect its hose to the male disconnect right here on the side of the tank, which is a nice little option on this compressor. Sometimes they make you use the hose that comes with it. In this case, I can just use the hose that's already on my tank. Once it's connected, we adjust the auto shutoff to 4,500 PSI turn on the water cooling system, and then start the compressor. So next we're gonna go ahead and close this relief valve and let the compressor equalize to the pressure of the tank, or the pressure that's remaining inside of your tank. Once an equal value has been obtained, we're gonna slowly open that tank valve, and then, well then we get to go ahead and let that magic happen, making sure that we're gonna drain that bleed valve every 10 to 15 minutes until the tank is full because this, well, this is your magic that's going to keep that water out of your tank. Now the magic does take a little time, but that time can be used to contemplate air guns as well as life. So sit back, enjoy the process, and think about what you're going to do next. Wow, what air gun should I buy next? I wonder what speed a 22 caliber pellet is most stable. How does Rossi make air gunning look so cool? Can I get an air gun to shoot over 200 yards? Then before you know it, 54 minutes have passed and you are ready to head back down to the range or even go turkey hunting with your new Serpent Arms Air Shotgun that we will be reviewing in the next video. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned you can get one of these GXCS4 compressors from Serpent Arms for under 500 bucks. So I wanna leave that little tidbit in this video for you and how you go about it. Well, you buy the Serpent Arms Air Shotgun for $14.99 and then you can go ahead and get the compressor for an additional 476 bucks plus tax as of the making of this video. And I think for the next few weeks, you can get both of them for $14.99. And that's a really great deal. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you stick around and watch the next video on the Serpent Arms Air Shotgun, and we'll see you next time right here on the Airgun Advisor.